Welcome back to another Lost Island resource location guide from the Ark Survival Guide. Today we're going to show you the best ways to get organic polymer on the Lost Island map. We're going to show you lots of excellent locations to get tons of organic polymer in several places on the Lost Island map, so no matter where you live you've got lots of really good options. And we'll show you a crazy trick to get ridiculous amounts of regular polymer too in case that's a better option for you. Please like and share this video, comment and subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video. And let's get started! So first I'll show you the fastest but also most dangerous place to get organic polymer on Lost Island. We're over here in the snow area right where it meets the volcano near the Red Obelisk, and it's actually right above the Wyvern Trench, the trench of death with all the really nasty wyverns in it. There's this little land bridge right here that goes across the bridge over to the volcanic area, and if we head straight over there on the right hand side there's this little opening, and that actually takes us into a small cave under the volcano which has tons of insects. Be very careful of wyverns when you're doing this and don't blame me if you get eaten. It's a good idea to bring like a rex, a giga, a wyvern, something with a lot of big teeth to chomp these things because this cave is swarming with insects but usually when I come in here there's at least a few praying mantis in here and if you eat the mantis you're going to get a couple hundred polymer on a 1x server pretty quickly. There's also an opening over on this side at this location on the other side of the mountain. And on the Monarchy series, I've got a little outpost over here, and I come out with my Giga and just chomp down everything, get tons of organic polymer, and bring that back for manufacturing. Just keep in mind, organic polymer will spoil over time. But if you have a snail, it will actually preserve longer inside its inventory. Another great place to get Mantis on the Lost Island map is in this huge open desert where there's basically nothing but sand, that whole area you'll find a lot of praying mantis that spawn, and this spot in particular I really like because it's high up off the ground, I set up an outpost here on the monarchy server, and just come out here, grab my giga, and then chomp down all the mantis that spawn nearby. Usually there's at least a group of three or four mantis over here, unless something's killed them already. Now you do have to be careful because death worms also spawn in every place you can find mantis mantis around here, and those things can do a lot of damage, so it's a really good idea to bring like a wyvern, so if you're not wanting death worms to attack you, you can fly away. But if you use something strong that can take on a death worm, you can get their horns and use them to tame mantis, which are actually a very helpful tame when you find a good strong one. But if you scour the desert, there's usually dozens of mantis out here, and you'll get tons and tons of organic polymer. If you want a slightly slower but still very effective way to get organic polymer, we can head directly north from the Redwoods Castle and there's this lake all the way up at the top. If you just follow that river all the way north as far as it goes, you're going to find this place which is basically a lake right in between the blue and red obelisk right at this location. And if we head over to that lake on one of the shores, we're going to find a lot of penguins. Now my wife loves penguins so I could never suggest harming a penguin in any way, but penguins do drop quite a bit of organic polymer, especially if you use a club to harvest them, and you can get a lot of polymer this way, and it's a much safer area than either of the ones I've showed you so far. There's also a huge cave with a massive area you can build in if you want a base nearby. There's another frozen lake where you can find tons of penguins right over here, and it's really not terribly far from that other spot I just showed you. And on one of the banks, you're going to find quite a few penguins. Now, I've had times when I couldn't find any around here, and they were all at the bottom of the lake, right in the middle. So they can be a little bit glitchy, and you might have to fight off some stuff in here, but you should be able to get quite a bit of polymer at this place too. And here's one more little lake in the snow area at the very southernmost point on the snow, and this also has quite a few penguins in this lake, lots of dangerous stuff around, you're probably going to find rexes, manas, things like that in a lot of these locations, but if you're ready to deal with those things, there's quite a few penguins to grab polymer from. And if you've got something that can fly like a wyvern, you can hit all three of these lakes really quickly because they're not too far from each other. 
Now, if you just need like a couple hundred organic polymer at a time, you can get quite a bit by killing Hesperornis and clubbing them with a club. And you can find them all up and down this jungle river near where these Mayan ruins are. If you follow it all the way from the ocean up to where it hits the snow, you're probably going to find five or ten Hesperornis along that river. And I find the highest concentration of them is around these three huge trees that stick out from the middle of the jungle here. And you can get lots of organic polymer just by grabbing Hesperornis. But keep an eye out for Sarcos, Raptors, Alpha Raptors, things like that, because there is a lot of dangerous stuff around these rivers. Now, I usually prefer organic polymer because you have to get two cementing paste and two obsidian per regular polymer. And even though regular polymer never spoils, it's usually a lot more effort to get. But there is a great option for regular polymer on Lost Island. This spot right here has tons of beaver dams, and you can get hundreds of cementing paste by looting these beaver dams, especially the giant ones, and they respawn pretty constantly. So as long as you can avoid getting eaten by the beavers, you can get an almost unlimited supply of cementing paste right here. And then right next to that spot is one of the most plentiful obsidian deposits in all of Ark. There's so much obsidian in this valley, but you do have to fight off lots of rexes, carnos, things like that to get it. Or if you want to get tons of obsidian totally safely, you can grab a bunch of it in this little mountain right across from the snow castle, and it's got nothing dangerous that spawns inside this cave. And even though it's covered in snow so you can't see it at first, there's lots of obsidian nodes inside this cave. And on top of this mountain is a bunch more that are also hidden by snow unless you know where to look. So if you live around this area, you can easily get enough cementing paste and obsidian to craft thousands of polymer in no time at all. And if you haven't seen them yet, I've got separate guides to show you all of the beaver dam locations on the Lost Island map and the easiest ways to get those for all your cementing paste. And I've also got a full guide on all of the obsidian locations if you want to find some great obsidian deposits and skip killing all the mantis, penguins, and Hesperornis. So I hope no matter where you live on the massive new Lost Island map, you can get all the polymer you need, whether it's regular polymer or organic polymer, using some of the tips on this guide. And drop a comment, let me know where you like to get your polymer on Lost Island, and if there's any spot I haven't mentioned, I'd love to know the coordinates of that too. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel with all notifications enabled so you don't miss our next resource location guide for the Lost Island, which will save you tons of time. Thank you so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. Please give it a thumbs up and share it around because that helps us so much. And drop a comment, we love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video, which will come out very soon. And while you wait, we have tons of other videos you can watch right now, so check these out. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video.